What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast I didn't have anything, for lunch I didn't have anything, and for dinner I had um, some Spam fried rice and that was pretty good. Uh, that's my current show in the background, so I'm sorry if that's annoying. Also, I got my new AirPods in. Um, it's really crazy. I really like, um, looks like parents paused their show. I really like um, transparency mode. Um, and I really like the noise cancelling. I know those are like the two main features of the Buds, but um, uh, you know, my last AirPod, like AirPods after a while, generally, uh, they kind of stop working. Um, and, you know, mine was rather accelerated because I dropped mine all the time, which I'm happy to say I haven't dropped these yet. Um, but, you know, my, my last pairs of AirPods, their damage was kind of accelerated because I dropped them all the time. But, um, you do see a lot of people where their ear wax just gets into the mesh of like the microphones or the speakers or something and just over time they just break and the quality becomes worse. Um, and you know eventually noise cancelling and transparency isn't as good as you got it on day one, right? Um, and so my noise cancelling and transparency was really bad on my old AirPods. It basically just sounded like I didn't have anything at all. Um, and the silicone tips uh, kind of made up for that, but you know it w like it was certainly not ideal and I, I would put in my parents airpods and they don't really use theirs that much and you know I'd be like wow this is you know it's crazy um you know so I, I'm pretty sure that the airpods pro to have some of the best noise cancelling in uh like true wireless earbuds um I know that I think Sony has some better ones I, I you know I'm not sure about the noise cancelling thing but I am pretty sure that um Apple does have the best transparency mode out of any earbuds, and it basically, um, transparency mode basically makes it so then, um, uh, it gets all the audio around you and it pumps it into your ears, so then it doesn't sound like you're wearing anything at all. And it doesn't sound like you're wearing anything at all. It's really crazy. I, um, I put one earbud in and it feels like I have an earbud in my ear, right? But then I put the other earbud in, whoa, it like sort of neutralizes a little bit, and uh, now it just, it, like, like, every, like, if I woke up one morning and this is the way I heard everything, I wouldn't notice a difference. Having my AirPods out and then putting them back in, everything sounds a little, like, a tiny bit different. But, um, if I woke up one morning and I, this is, like, how I heard, um, I wouldn't think it's, I, like, I wouldn't even notice. Um, so, if it's any consolation of how, like, you can't, you can't even hear, like, it's, like, there's nothing in your ears yet. Like, the only sensation you get is a physical sensation for the AirPods touching the inside of your ear canal. Um, it's just really crazy. Uh, it turns out I do like the lanyard. Last night, I spent, like, an hour <laughs> before I went to bed, um, trying to get the lanyard actually, like, in the AirPods. Um, not only is there a lanyard loop on the case, but there's also a lanyard loop on the AirPods themselves. Um, and I put the case on, and I only put... And the lanyard came with the lanyard on the case. It didn't like go through with the AirPods. Um, so now this is like double secured. It goes through these holes and then the holes on the AirPods. And you know, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm thinking I might buy uh, a couple of different sizes of paracord and I can probably buy whatever these are. I don't know the names of these, but I could probably buy these. And uh, you know, I think I could probably just make my own lanyard out of some paracord, but we'll see. Um, you know, what else? Uh, today I tried increasing the, uh, the pre-generation of the end world on my Minecraft server, and, uh, like, four people came on, and the TPS was, like, 13, and it's supposed to be 20. Uh, TPS is, like, ticks per second. It's, like, the FPS of the server. It's, like, how many times a tick happens, which is, like, a Minecraft second. Um, and they're, they're about 20 ticks per second, and if it's down at 13, everything's a little laggy. Um, so... Um, it went down to like 13 because there it was running four different people's perspectives and also like n chunks all the time You know, so it was bad. Uh, so I had to stop that rendering. I'll probably do it tonight though when people aren't on um, What else? Um, I don't know. Nothing else has really been happening. Oh, I Had such a great workout today um, Let me just list off some stats. Uh, I, I needed to, to close my move ring as you can tell I did it went like here and barely anything else the rest of the day because I was I've just been sitting down but um yeah I uh, ran for 52 minutes and five seconds uh, at an average of 5.75 miles an hour um, my distance was five miles my calories burned was 756 
Um, my average heart rate was 167, but near the end I went up to around eight miles an hour on the treadmill. So that's probably like six or seven. Um, and my heart rate increased, but yeah, here's the data. It's really cool. It's, it's really, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, it was great. I was really sweaty after it. And, uh, you know, now I'm just a little sweaty because it's, God, it's 77 degrees outside right now. Um, it used to be 80, but you know, now it's 77. Uh, it's a little better, uh, but it's still annoying. Uh, before this, I wasn't even wearing a shirt. I had to put on a shirt to, to record this video. Um, but you know, aside from that, I'm just doing my thing. I have been messing with my AirPods a little bit. Um, but aside from that, you know, I'm just hanging out. Um, it's kind of weird knowing I'm not even a senior anymore. Like I'm just some, I'm just some guy now. Like I'm, I'm just like, I'm not even a student right now. I'm just like, I'm just like some person who owns a Minecraft server. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Um, it's weird. I feel like, um, Sorry, I got the large ear tips on my AirPods, and now I think they fit pretty well because every time I take them out, it reverses the, the silicone tip and I have to put it back. Um, but I think that's a good sign because I think it means it's gripping my ears pretty well. Um, it, you know, yesterday was graduation. I'll probably put a graduation photo um, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the thumbnail. Graduation itself went pretty good. Um, the stadium was right outside the Space Needle, so that was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I was able to say hello to all my teachers. Um, there was like the girl sitting next to me who was actually valedictorian, um, but the girl who's who was sitting next to me was like, she was like, so I, I, I was planning to walk up on stage with my buddy, right? Um, and he's at one end of the row of chair of the column of chairs, and I'm at the other end of the column of chairs. And when our name and like when we were told for our row to go, both rows would go, and then they'd be next to each other. So then I'd be next to my buddy. But this girl next to me, she was saying, hey, um, I'm gonna have to walk with your buddy. And I was like, what? Um, and you know, maybe I'm just stupid, but she started, she, for some, somehow, she knew like all the names of all the other people in, all the, in like our row, and she was like, well, this person goes with this person, this goes with this person, this person, there's only six people in our row and there are seven people in that row, so we're gonna have to miss out on someone else. And I was like, well, why, why can't we just miss out on like someone else who's not me? And uh, it was all very strange. And her reasoning was really odd. Um, I ended up, I think I did end up walking with my buddy, walking up on stage with my buddy, but um, uh, you know, then I got on stage, uh, you know, I sort of fumbled, shaking the hand. I, you know, I grabbed my thing. I started walking away. I realized there was a camera. I went like this, you know, to the camera, you know. Um, and, you know, I started walking kind of halfway. I don't know if the photo on stage was good. Um, we'll see, I suppose. Uh, eh, mm, you know, uh, so I don't think my, my official my official graduation photo went very well. But, um, you know, there are lots of other photos I took with graduation. Um, I took a few really good selfies. Um, I, don't, I don't know what was up with my camera that day. You know, I just looked pretty good in my camera. Um, and, uh, yeah, I took lots of photos. It was a lot of fun. My parents took lots of photos. We all put it into a shared album so you can look chronologically of like who was taking photos when and us taking a photo and then my parents took a photo. It was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I think overall it was like a pretty okay experience. Um, oh, and I, I had this sash for the key club and I lost my sash. Um, I don't know when, I knew it was like while we were leaving. Like while we, like once graduation was over, when we were leaving to like meet with our families, I lost my sash somehow for key club. Um, so I'm pretty sad about that. But um, I never really went to Key Club that often, and there was no reason to by the end of the year because our service hours were waived because of COVID. Um, for those of you who don't know, Key Club is basically this service hour club you can go to after school, um, and it's like this thing you can go to, and they basically just tell you when you can do service hour opportunities, they set the stuff up for you, and you just have to sign up, and then you can show up, and then just do service hours. Um, and every Key Club meeting, is one service hour. So theoretically, if you join Key Club in like your freshman year, um, which is ninth grade, um, you could just be in it for like 10th and 11th grade. And then you've gone through 60 Mondays after school, you know, go to Key Club. Um, that's all your service hours. You know, you didn't even have to go anywhere. But if you want to be quick, you... this doesn't even matter. I didn't even end up having to do this because our service hours were waived. So it's crazy. It's so crazy. Um, you should be able to work a job and get service hours, because the only difference is that you're getting money. Um, well, I guess other people have to pay. Okay, there, there's a bit of a difference, but I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. 
it's, it's crazy that I've been recording for 10 minutes, but there's just been a lot to talk about. Um, so, yeah, alright, see you, dude.